Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. I have the new Atom ceramic spray coating that I'm putting up against Gion Can Coat in the short term water behavior test. Both of these coatings have been curing on the paint for one full week. So you guys are going to see the full maximum performance that these have to offer in terms of hydrophobicity, which is what a lot of guys are questioning, especially out of the Atom ceramic spray coating here. Is this really going to have the crazy tight beating and fast aggressive water sheeting that guys are used to seeing out of many of the other paint coatings? So I'm going to answer that for you guys and showcase it through the water test. And you can see the gloss here on the walk around. Is Both of these coatings are very good in terms of gloss. Um, Adam's ceramic spray coating is going to be a more slicker feeling definitely compared to Gion Can Coat. And you can see right away in the water test, both of these products are very hydrophobic. Can Coat is one of the most hydrophobic Gion product that they make. And ceramic spray coating from Adams is going to be right on the heels in terms of hydrophobicity compared to Gion Can Coat. Very good hydrophobic behavior and crazy tight beating. Adams does list a four hour cure period out of the spray coating. So that's generally the time that you guys want to wait before exposure to the elements or getting it wet or washing the paint with soap. Gion Can Coat lists a 24 hour cure period. Now with coatings especially, these, once you've applied them to the paint and buffed them off the surface, they do take a certain amount of time before they fully harden and fully, you know, bond to the surface. So this time that it takes for the coating to do that is what we call the cure period. And if you rinse the paint or you wash it too soon before it's fully cured on the surface, you can see a drastic reduction in how hydrophobic it is in the short term. And you'll see coatings like Modesta that guys are using infrared lights or lamps to actually facilitate and curing them faster on the paint. So the four hour cure period that they're listing on the bottle, I'm gonna be testing that out, um, rinsing it very shortly after applying it compared to what it looks like after four hours and then we can cross reference that with the results here after waiting one full week without touching the paint. In this clip here, I'm gonna showcase the sheeting rate with the Gilmore spray nozzle. This one has a very good flood nozzle guys it's got a center flood that's very soft this is what I use when I want to sheet the paint off prior to drying it it really helps get a lot of the water off of the paint before we start using a towel or even the blower as well now I see a lot of guys were put off by the price of the spray coating here with from Adams and you know what you have to realize is Gion can coat at 200 milliliters is gonna run you fifty five dollars Adam ceramic spray coating comes in two sizes. It comes in an 8 ounce size, which is going to be around 240 milliliters, and it comes in the 16 ounce bottle. So 8 ounces is going to run you $40, and 16 ounces is going to run you $70. Now this makes a lot of sense price-wise compared to its main competitor in the spray coating market. Now Adams is also incredibly easy to work with. And you know, can coat is easy as well, but Adams, it, it's on another level, guys. It's easier to apply onto the paint. It's not, it doesn't feel as tacky when you're spreading it across the surface. It really flashes over nicely. And the end result is a slicker feeling paint surface compared to many other coatings that I've worked with, especially the SiO2 based silicon dioxide based coatings. So my initial impressions of this coating off the, you know, right off the bat is this is very good. I, I've really enjoyed working with it in the short term super easy to apply and remove and I think that's going to be a, a very attractive to a lot of guys that haven't tried out coatings yet that might want to jump into the coating game with this Adams product. It's super easy to work with and I love can coat as well. So really the Adams product here needs to compete in durability and if it really does end up being a very durable coating, um, it's listed at 68 months durability, this could be a very good product. So let's do a little product rundown here. Again, Adam Ceramic Spray Coating is going to be in that spray coating category, just like Gion Can Coat, which I have the different tops screwed onto it. Um, if you leave the spray nozzle in the Can Coat, you're going to have it clogged up. So you got to take it out of there and seal it with the original cap. Now, compared to Ceramic Boost um, from Adams as well, I'm expecting Ceramic Spray Coating to be much more durable. Um, to be a, a much better foundational base, more hydrophobic than the short term. I've already worked a little bit with Ceramic Boost. I can tell right away that Ceramic Spray Coating is going to be much more hydrophobic in the short term. And I'm also expecting it to be much more durable than products like Hybrid Ceramic Wax, Ice Seal and Shine, Bead Maker, definitely more durable than Bead Maker, um, and then Polish Angel, Car Pro Reload. Now we need to start talking about how effective can Adam Spray Coating be as a coating topper. If we've already got 
a more durable base layer coating, can it be used as an effective topper? And I've already started testing that out on some of the coatings that I have around the, the other test cars. I've really enjoyed working with Beadmaker as a coating topper, as well as Polished Angel Cosmic Spritz and High Gloss. Um, Adam spray coating so easy to work with that it's definitely puts itself right up there in an effective coating topper product to start thinking about. Uh, and then let's bring Top Coat F11 into the mix as well here. You've got guys dumping $60 for 18 ounces of F11 thinking that it's going to compete in durability compared to ceramic spray coating and Gion Can Coat or IGL Premier. It's definitely not going to do that, guys. Um, Top Coat F11 is just absolutely terrible in terms of actual performance. So there's definitely a lot more testing to be done, guys, with the Atom Ceramic Spray Coating. Um, definitely stay tuned. I'm going to have gloss test measurements coming up. Um, try and get footage with the, uh, with the GoPro on there and show you guys the application method. And also, most importantly, durability statistics as a base level coating and as a topper for different products. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. Definitely stay tuned for much more product testing.